Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I come to you with a message uh, spoken in love and in uh, unity, God. First of all, I uh, pray against the spirit of division that is coming between peoples of the world, uh, spiritual division of racism, of uh, where you stand, if you're Republican or Democrat, if you're Trump or Biden, or if you're a mask or non-mask. I was given authority by the pastor to do this. So I'm going to tell you why I don't wear a mask. Okay. So first of all, uh, I speak this with Matthew 7, 7 in mind. I, I came to Christ first to ask. I ask, you should always come to God and ask. I ask, you know, why should I wear a mask? I'm not saying that you should wear a mask or if the church should wear a mask or Sanford, Florida should wear a mask or United States should wear a mask. I am speaking when it comes to the Lord for me, just me and him. It's our relationship. And the Lord does say on Hosea 4, 6, that my people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. It's true. So I'm going to give you knowledge and in the end, you can come to Christ. You can ask him what I should do. I can't tell you what to do, but I can give you advice to ask God what to do because God will never lie to you. He'll never lie to you. He loves you, loves all of you, as do I. I love all you at the church, Pastor House, Pastor Sis, every person there, I love you, okay? So the people are wearing a mask because of COVID-19 doesn't matter if you believe that COVID-19 is a pandemic or not. Personally, I don't. You have a 99% chance of survival if you catch the virus. It's up to you what you want to do and you and God alone. To me, I'm not wearing a mask. And I'll tell you other reasons why. Other reasons why is Psalm 91. I want to believe Psalm 91 100%. Okay? Some people say it's not good to tempt God. I'm not... It's not tempting God to believe his word. I'm believing his word. I'm believing his word. I also know that in Matthew 10, 30, it says the hairs on my head, which are diminishing, so it's easier to count, I guess, are numbered by the Lord. He knows my days are numbered. You th if you think you can change the day of your death by wearing a mask, that's ridiculous. Because if you wear a mask and it stops you getting COVID-19 and God wants you in heaven, he's either going to get you in a car accident you're going to get cancer. You're going to get whatever. You're still going to go to heaven. It doesn't matter. You can't stop it. And he knows the plans for you. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans for you. Do you think that making a wrong decision or a right decision with a mask is going to change the plans for you? Do you really believe that's how powerful that is? It's not. It's not. God is more powerful than anything. Okay, now this is what the mask means to me. Okay, the COVID-19 came out and everyone wears a mask. It's mandated by the government. People say Romans 13, you need to follow it, but I'm going to refute that in a few minutes. But anyhow, you have to wear a mask and then you have to wear a mask to get into a store. And then you get a vaccine. And then you have to get a vaccine passport to enter a store. But then the vaccine passports, they, they can be, uh, you know, counterfeited. So the final measure is you have to have a mark on your, on your hand or your head. Does that sound familiar? 666. Six, six. And does that sound familiar? Six feet apart. You have to stand six, six, six feet apart. Does that sound familiar? To me and what the Lord has told me, just me, is this is the Antichrist system. And I will not partake in the Antichrist system. And what gives me the authority to overrule Romans 13? Well, in Daniel 3, Meshach, Horshach, and Abednego, they were commanded by King Nebuchadnezzar to bow to the idol. That is the authority that God has given them. And they said, I do not submit. I only submit to the Lord God. The God said, I can overrule your decision. God told me I can overrule Alan Harris of Seminole County, an unelected official, one person who mandates masks. God said I can, 
I can do that. And if you want more proof, Daniel and Daniel 6 defied King Darius. King Darius had a decree, which is a law or a mandate that says only only person you can pray to is the Persian king. And Daniel said he would not do it. Daniel was loyal to that government. But when it came to overriding God, he said, no, to me, this mask is overriding God. It's overriding God. It's disputing Psalm 91. It's also leading to the mark of the beast. And I will not have it. I will not do it. There's no way I'm going to do that. I love you all. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you what's right or wrong, but I can tell you where to go to find out what's right or wrong. And that's the personal between you and Jesus. Okay. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There's all those disciples. Do you think they all agreed on how to, how to catch a fish, how to cook a fish? Do you, do you think they agreed on hardly anything? No, 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 no. They're people. They're all different, but they followed the king. So I'm different than you, and you're different from the next person, and you're different from the pastor, but you follow the king. So just ask Jesus. Jesus, this is a d decree and mandate. Should I follow it or not? Should I follow it or not? And think of, think, think about it. How long are you going to wear these things? How long? How long? You're going to wait till they say to take it off? Well, you're going to be waiting, it to, you're going to be buried in it if you wait that long. They're never going to take, tell you to take it off because they want you to take the mark of the beast. They want you to follow this. That's what my personal thoughts are, okay? You don't have to believe it. You can do what you want. I'm just telling you where I'm coming from. I'm coming from, I'm, I wear a mask for your liberties, okay? You might wear a mask for my health, but I wear it for your liberties. I wear one without, I wear, do not wear it for your liberties, okay? If I... I stand up for what I believe is right and, I, and your liberty. I'd rather to I'd rather die of COVID-19 than live with a mask all my life. Because you know what? If I die, I get to be with Jesus. I get to see my mom again. I get to see my grandma I never seen before. I get to meet George Washington in heaven. I get to walk in the streets of gold. Okay, this this world is no prize. It's nothing to hold on to. I don't have a death grip on my life and try to save every second. This place right now to me, honestly, is a living hell. It's a living hell with people walking around with masks. I can't go to the things I love like my theme parks because they, they take your temperature and masks. I can't ride an airplane. I can't do anything I like. I can't do hardly anything I like. It's a living hell. It would be, it would be a blessing to go to heaven. But I, God has me here because he knows, like in Jeremiah 29, he has plans for me. He has plans for me here. So COVID-19 is not going to kill me because he has plans for me. Sorry, COVID, you don't have any authority over me because God has plans for me. He knows all these little hairs, uh, the four hairs I have on my head. He knows how many there are. Okay, he loves me. God loves me. I love God. God loves you. Just ask him. Just tonight, pray to the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I seek your knowledge. I seek, ask, I'm, I'm knocking, and I'm asking, what should I do? What should I do, God? What do you want me to do? Not what, what you want the church to do. Not what you want Seminole County to do. And not what you want Florida or the United States to do. What do you want me to do? I love you, Jesus. What do you want me to do? That's all I ask you to do. And if he tells you to wear a mask, that's great because then you're following the right person. You're following the right person. You're not following the CDC. You're following God. And God will never lie to you, brothers and sisters. He loves you. I love you too. And God bless.